Android Q Beta is now available, which brings us one step closer to the final release. We want to make sure your application works properly by the time Android Q updates are released to the public. In this video, we will discuss the Android Q Beta program, its timeline, available developer resources, and explain the two options you have for testing it, installing it on your device or using an emulator image. To give you an overview on the release process, the first three beta milestones provide an early test and development environment to help you identify compatibility issues in your current apps. At beta 4, you will have access to the final APIs and SDK to develop with, as well as updated beta system images to test system behaviors and features. Also, starting beta 4, you will be able to publish apps to device running Android Q at the official API level. At beta 5 and 6, you will have release candidate builds, which includes the final APIs and near final system images. As you test and develop, we strongly recommend keeping your development environment up to date as beta updates are released. The Android Q Preview SDK includes changes that are not compatible with some older versions of Android Studio. For the best development experience with the Android Q Preview SDK, we recommend that you install the latest version of Android Studio. After you open Android Studio, download and install the Android Q Preview SDK using the SDK Manager. You will also need to update your platform build tools to version 28 or higher. Finally, you can create virtual device by downloading the Q image and use it as the deployment target for your application. If you have a Pixel device, you can install Android Q Beta on your phone. To download the beta, go to ge.co slash Android Beta and obtain to the beta program. After restarting your device, you can navigate to the System Update screen on your phone and tap the Update button to download and install Q. If you want to revert your phone to Android Pie after your test, you can simply opt out of the beta program from the same address and updates your device from the system update screen as before. Be aware that this process will remove all locally saved data on your device. With the above preparations complete, you can build your app and then conduct basic compatibility testing on behavior and privacy changes. Finally, update the target SDK in your Gradle file for further testing and adoption of new features. For more information on new features and changes in queue, Check out the links in the description of the video. Enjoy Android Q. Leave us feedback on your experience using the beta. We've provided several ways to capture his comment, including a bug tracker. See you soon.